We'll start with the partridge, wide gate, uh, wide gate wet, uh, barbless, size 10. We have some shear, 40 naught red. I'll just attach this there. This is water boatman. Uh, uh, very good still water pattern. Remove that. Then we have a little bit of ice blue pearl tinsel. And just tack this in at the back. And go back, keep that out of the way. We can trim that off. Just tack it in and go back to the rear of the hook. Take a bunch of pheasant tail fibres, quite a hefty bunch, and we tie these in top of the hook shank by the tips. We just go forward. back again then we need some super fine dubbing I'm using the tan dubbing here we don't need to have this too tight so we just spin it up and slide it up catch it in do is there then we take our pearl tinsel and we make a couple of wraps just to form a tag this will indicate the air bubble and then we go over the body just to give that air bubble effect on the body when it's in the water To here and we just tie that off move that take a little comb and we'll just flatten out all those fibers like that good and we just tie that off remove that then we need two short lengths of black rubber leg and what I do is I dip one end of this in UV resin I want to be about the same length as the body of these so we just tie this one in that spin that around Just need to sort my thread out there we are position these that's good and we'll tighten these up trim off the slight angle at the front We want a red band just there to indicate the eyes and then we just colour this dark brown and go over the 
head. That's good. We'll give it a whip finish. drop of UV resin. And just cover the back. And the head. blast and that's the finished water boatman or back swimmer if you tie it in smaller sizes if you enjoy the videos please like subscribe share and thanks for watching